Hey everyone, so I wasn't able to sleep and I found out about something really cool. So I just heard about this software called Vroid Studio. Uh, apparently it's a, like an anime style character creator and it's 100% free. So you can get it from this place, vroid.com. Uh, there was one issue when I downloaded and installed it and everything was in Japanese. Like, it took a little bit to figure out how to change it to English. But, if you download it, and it's in Japanese, just click these three dots up here. And the very first one, even if it's in Japanese, this is laid out the same. So you can just click settings, and then right at the top you can change it to English. Then you can set your, your other stuff. But, I just want to show you all a little bit, because this is super duper cool. So, it's like a, a, a character creator. It... And it's it's expansive. I played with it for about five minutes before I decided I had to make a video about it. So it'll start you off with the baseline character. And just on the face side of things, look at all these options. Look, I can change the eyes. You can change each individual eye color. Left eye, right eye, anything. The highlights in the eye. Let me zoom in a little bit. And the, the control scheme is kind of similar to the Unreal Engine, which I heard this actually has a plug-in for. Um, or the Unreal Engine has a plug-in for this. I don't know whichever way that, that phrase is, but you can create a character in here, and there's a plug-in to get it to work in the Unreal Engine. So, uh, But the right mouse button rotates, and the middle mouse button pans. Uh the control Z to undo edits works, so if I do that and then I hit control Z it goes back. But um there's just so much. Look, just on the eyes parameters you can change. You can change <laughs> It's super cool. Let's just let's just mess her up. Let's just see how ridiculous it can get. Scornful look. Droop oh my gosh. Droopy look. Is that edible kicked in yet? Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay. The iris size. Whoa. You can change where she's looking. Gazed it. Whoa. <laughs> the edible kicked in hard. Okay. Let's see. Let's just undo it. Everything real quick. Back to baseline. You can change the hairstyle. You can change the color of the hair. Oh, I'm geeking out a little bit. This is super cool. You make all kinds of characters. You can change the hairstyle. The it's it layers. So we're, you can have the back, the front. You can even change them and stack them on top of each other. Have ridiculous. Who would do that with their hair? Nobody but this girl, I guess. It's cool. Oh, that looks, that kind of looks like some, almost a, like a, 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 what's the word? Ronin Warrior, not Ronin Warrior. Overall hair. Oh. Let's see, I can take, uh, let's just make her bald again. And they got so many options you can pick from. It's just so cool. I'm geeking out just a little bit. You can make your own meatball head. Ah. Oh wait, can I stack it with that? Sorry, I'm a big anime fan. You can change the body, the height, the head width, the neck, collarbones, Adam's apple? Chest size, arm length, finger size, hand size, waist width, or all kinds of stuff. They got all kinds of outfits from whole sets like this. So you can even piece your own thing together. Oh, and check this out. You can customize it, edit the texture, and let it load. It actually shows you the UV unwraps of everything, and then you can... Pick a color.
You can draw on it. You can customize your own textures in here. If you wanted to, look, check this out. Let's say you find a shirt you like. You don't like the color. You just go in here. You can pick any color you want. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make it blue. And then I'm just going to paint the whole thing. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and I love it. You can... Oh, I bet you could even import... I bet you could even import images and make... What is this? Oh, that's neat. Sorry, I just found out about this thing. I've never heard of Vroid Studio before, but this is fascinating. Sorry, I got so excited. I had to share it with y'all. But Oh, and you don't have to do it over here. You can paint directly on the character. So let's go. Let's get out of here. No, close without saving. I don't want to save it. Just showing off the features. All right, you can pick pants and... Uh, they, look at that. Skirts. Dress. I like that dress, actually. That's nice. Oh, dresses! Full on. That is awesome. This is cool. What is this? Inner tops? Inner. Oh, that's the underwear. We don't need it. <laughs> trying to get. Okay. Socks. Shoes. All kinds of stuff. Accessorize. Add an accessory. What's in it? Oh, glasses. Cat ears. Oh, okay. I guess yeah, that's a thing. How do I get it off? Oh, just right click. Interesting. All right, but she gonna have glasses. This is, you can change. Wait, what is the look? Outline width. Oh. Hair outline width. You can make it more cell shaded looking. Or you can have the flat color. Ah, that's cool. Accessory. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kicking out. Oh, it, I'm I'm not a 3D modeler. I don't. I can't do it. I've tried Blender. I've tried all kinds of stuff. It's beyond my scope. I'm good with the programming side of the Unreal Engine, but as far as modeling stuff, I can't do it. But to have a really cool character creator like this, that will work with the Unreal Engine apparently, because. Let me pull up that other guy. Uh, YouTube. So let's go check out... Uh, history. So this guy, he had a video. It shows... Oh. So Freedom Arts 3D Animation and Game Developer. He shows where to get the plug-in and everything right there. And... Is this? I'm sorry. I ha I had to share this with y'all. This is beyond cool. You can come on. Let's. You can change the different eyes. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that's creepy. Iris's eye highlights. Oh, okay. If it was green, she'd look like Sephiroth. Whoa, oh, okay, get the root of that. You can change the mouth, you can change all kinds of stuff, and it's all got everything has heart. Like, look, look at that shark teeth. I don't know how to make her show her teeth, but you can change the lips. Oh, to where she can have like lipstick and stuff, and it even has that little, that little animation. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. This is cool. Cheeks? What is this cheeks? Oh, this must be like makeup editors. But it's fascinating. You can change her skin color. I think. Is this? I don't know. What this, oh. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Hey. Look at you. Huh? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I have a thing for dark skin and glasses. <laughs> Just ask my wife. But it's just so cool. So if you're interested, go on to that site. 
Oh, I've gone. Um, I've wasted ten minutes of y'all's time just just playing around with this thing. But if you want to check it out, just go to that Vroid Studio. Check it out. Completely free. It's a pretty small download, actually. It was only like two hundred and eighty megabytes to download, and then then it and it installed pretty quick. I installed it just like. Well, it's been longer now than I realize, I guess. But I just heard about this like thirty minutes ago, maybe. But it is fascinating. So if you want to check it out, I, I, I definitely recommend it. I, <laughs> I'll, I'll stop rambling. Go check it out. All right, bye.